What? What? I sincerely apologize for the mistakes I've made. You know, remember the video where I said that the YS3M was the flagship cube we've all been waiting for? Um, I was wrong. Moyu decided to bring out another cube and now I'm just so confused because there's three versions of this cube. There's three versions of the Super RS3M that came out not so long ago and there's four versions of the YS3M. There's 10 Moyu cubes right now, which is kind of ridiculous. But this one, the Moyu WRM V9, I'm not making any promises anymore, but I think this is the flagship cube of Moyu. The WRM series has always been the flagship cubes. This is a WRM 2021. It was the initial Yo cube. So it was a really, really good cube. The YS3M, which is another cube Moyu released not so long ago, is also really really good like i've been maining this for the last few weeks i even went to a competition maining this cube that didn't that didn't go so great <laughs> so i don't know if i should keep doing that but uh i will definitely do more testing but first of all moyu v9 why is it v9 is this the ninth version of this cube i don't think so is it nine years since the initial release what is it moyu what is it explain it to me What's with the weird names? But yeah, I think the thing that matters the most is whether this cube is good or not. I bring to you the Balkor version. This is the maxed out version of this cube because of the other versions. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding, Mo. You stop with all the fish, with all the releases. I'm so f***ing I'm actually not that mad. I just thought that sounded cool. But honestly, I want to have a flagship cube. So this is the Balkor version. This is $42, if I'm not mistaken. Limited time, 7% off. Guys. Discount code CUPED is 5%, but you get a free CUPED logo. That, that, that is better. Why is the cubicle upping my discount code? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not happy. Okay, but anyways, uh, $43 for the V9 Balcor UV. So this is UV coding. I'm not a fan of UV coding, but who cares? Box. It's a box. Let's just open it. Here's the cube in the stupid new cases that Moyo gives, which are two halves. I, I don't know. Let, let's first look at the accessories. Oh, it's the same stuff you get with every Moyu puzzle. These are tools for uh, even tensions because this probably has a screw and not a proper dual adjustment system. Uh, whoa, whoa. An extra center design piece and an adjustment tool and a screwdriver <laughs> i'm so good at doing unboxings yes what do we have here whoa there fell another paper out of my paper oh so here it says that you can turn the box into a cube stand you know like the the box that didn't come with this cube that's cool so if i buy another moyu cube i now know that i can turn that box into a stand not this one though not this one, but the other one. Uh, this is how to use the uh, the even tension tool. <sighs> you really have to like take apart the entire cube and stuff? Come on, Moyu. Proper dual adjustment systems with settings. Like click, click, click. Setting three, setting two, setting whatever you want. The tornado does it. Gan has been doing it for 20 years now. Bruh. Right at your face, Moyu. <laughs> no, but let's meditate a bit. Relax. Uh, I have no bad feelings towards Moyu. Just have like neutral grounds. And let's really try to test this cube and see if it's good or not. What? What? I've tried a lot of cubes with like magnetic cores, but I've never seen it this extreme. Man, this is this is the self-alignment. Is, is is that how you call the feature? Is it's better than GANs. That's like the first thing I noticed. But this is so loose. Oh my god. I can literally do a U4. Look at this. That's almost U5. Come on, come on. Yes, U5 confirmed. Can I do an M4? M3? M4. <laughs> Out of the box, cube is... It actually feels good. Like, it's really smooth, but it's, like, way too fast. I cannot solve with this. So, let's start by increasing the compression. Let's set it... Maybe four clicks, the middle setting. Okay. 
Let's give that a try. By the way, guys, if you're wondering what the dual adjustment system is, I've made a full video going about like the features of modern speed cubes and explaining what, what everything does. But increasing the compression basically makes the cube more stable and a bit slower, more controllable, let's say. So let's see if this actually helps. It's still too fast. Let's try a few clicks more. You now, as comparison for the YS3M, I set that one at three clicks. So this being six clicks is kind of weird. Oh man, it's still so fast. And also I just realized that I'm not sitting in my proper chair. What is this? What is this chair? Yeah, boy, that's my chair. Man, the magnetic strength is so extreme. Can you change? What? What? You cannot change the ma magnetic strength? Man, what? You could do that on the 2021 WRM, but you cannot do that on the newest. What? I don't know if I'm gonna like it, to be honest. But, you know, let's just try to do first solve. What? What? Man, I cannot, to the cube's defense, I haven't warmed up on it or anything. So these are literally like the first turns I've, I, I'm doing today on this new cube. So you know what? Let's actually take a better look at the cube itself. Opening the cube was pretty easy. We have these kind of greenish teal blue internals. There's a magnet underneath the edge. I don't know if I've seen that before. So magnet in the corner and in the edge. Also on the sides, obviously. So we have your normal corner edge magnets, but also an extra layer of magnets right now in the edges that attracts to the ball core, which you can see right here. And that probably contributes to the fact that the magnetic strength is so extreme. Like I'm, I'm just gonna call it extreme because it's pretty <laughs> it is extreme. Now, as a comparison, here you have the WR V9, and this is the YS3M. Just looking at it, I noticed right away that the stems of the corner of the V9 are way longer than that of the YS3M. That probably results in some differences, but I think the YS3M design is just a bit smoother overall than the V9. Like you have these extra grooves right here on the V9 that you don't have on the YS3M. And showing the dual adjustment system, it is the same thing we've seen from Moyu for years now. The corner cutting, yeah, like what do you expect? It does everything, right? Oh, the reverse is not extreme. I mean, it's good, but like this catches right here. You see that? I feel like if I pull really hard right now, I could just like break the corner stem, which I really want to do, but I'm not going to do it. But there's one more thing I want to test. Oh, man. Corner twisting is so easy. This is more difficult on the YS3M, but for example, on a GAN cube, you can almost not twist the corner. I mean, you can do it, but it's, it, it rarely happens in a solve. But this is... This is... It's kind of satisfying, to be honest. But this is definitely going to happen in solves. Um, I used to corner twist a lot back in the day. Uh, but the hardware of the cubes has gotten better ever since then. What? I don't understand how the loop made such a difference. The auto alignment is less extreme. Like, this instantly became one of the most satisfying cubes I've ever had. <sighs> Moyu, why, why are you doing this? Like, I remember when the Super RS3M came out, I was like, oh yeah, this is a really good cube, which it is. Then the YS3M came out and I was like, oh wait, what? This is actually a more premium version of the Super RS3M, a bit more stable. I like it. I'm gonna make it my main. And then the WRM V9 comes and... <sighs> it's already the most satisfying cube I've tried. It's definitely lighter, more rounded off than the YS3M. It has stronger magnets, but somehow feels less blocky, which is 
kind of good because the YS3M is really, really blocky. Luke Garrett is already maining the WRM V9 and he got some great official results using it. So it is good. There's no denying that it is good. It's so satisfying. But the only thing that bothers me is that there's three versions of this cube. Moyu, you could have just made one version of the Super YS3M, one of the YS3M, one of this cube, and then all of your customers would have three options. And it would be like, oh, what is my budget? Let me get this one. But now it's like, oh, what's my budget? Oh, there's 12 cubes in this price range, all for Moyu. Damn. <laughs> This is just my first impression video and going over the features. The features are basically non-existent. You should definitely add loop if you get this cube. But aside from that, it doesn't really have any features. No adjustable magnets whatsoever. A lot of magnetic strength, which becomes satisfying, honestly. Corner twist, I think is gonna be a problem. But then again, I'll have to do a lot of souls. And I'm probably gonna make a video on my main channel comparing all of the Moyo cubes and telling you which one to get. Because honestly, they are great. Uh, $42 is a lot of money. Then again, it's still half the price of a GAN flagship cube. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Ciao! Guys, what the hell? What just happened? I just turned off the camera. I was like, okay, let's do one more solve because it's pretty an enjoyable cube. Bam.